Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, the uh, front yard uh, landscape. Maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. Uh, a lot of it really jumped in the last week and a half. I've been down on the Gulf Coast shooting some, doing some video work. You'll see some videos from that uh, pretty soon. Uh, but just coming back into Raleigh yesterday, everything has just really jumped very quickly. This front garden space really wasn't started until about this time last year. Uh, when I moved in here, there was a big maple in the uh, front yard that was diseased. It had to be taken down, and there was some period of time between taking that down and, and actually starting this front yard project. The sod was done in the summer, uh, and there's only like three or four pieces remaining from what was originally uh, in this space. But it, So it's moved forward very, very quickly. Uh, coming back into town yesterday, this annual strip uh, that's through here uh, really has uh, jumped quite a bit. Uh, it's the same kind of color combo that I used uh, last, uh, last summer. In the winter, this will be pansies and snapdragons. In the summer, it will be other summer flowering annuals. Uh, the other thing about the, the, this project is it's ongoing. And so there's going to be future driveway work. The siding on the front of the house is being redone. Eventually, there's going to be a porch on the front of it. Well, there's just a ton of things still to do. Uh, in this project. So I hope you're subscribed to the channel to see all of those things uh, over the next uh, year or whatever it takes. Uh, somebody asked about the uh, service berry that got planted in the, in the front garden space here, and it's doing fantastic first season in the ground. It's a little wispy, and uh, this is true when you buy uh, trees sometimes that, you know, they really forced a lot of height on them in the nursery, but they didn't really get a lot of caliper on them. And so this one's gonna be I'm going to be required to stake this one for a little while uh, and I did that before I left for the Gulf Coast. It needs to be tied up a little better but the tree is doing fantastic. Uh, Ruby Spice uh, Clethra is about to start showing some color uh, maybe in the next two or three weeks. So for the first time ever uh, we'll go to the front of the fence. Uh, I've done quite a bit uh, out here in this area uh, this season, I've shown this uh, butterfly towers, butterfly bush enough times. Well, we've talked that thing to death. The fence, these rocks were integrated uh, into the bottom of the fence to make, make it look like all of these things had been here for a long time. The one thing about lumber right now is it's super wet. Not only is it, well, two things about lumber. Uh, number one, it's very expensive. Number two, it's very wet. And so uh, they're basically pressure treating it and bring it directly to the stores because there's such a shortage. And so I'm actually going to let this, I'm actually going to let this dry out. And then in the fall, when these perennial things die back, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to treat it at that time. I'm going to stain it at that time, but just a clear stain. So it's going to be the same as it color as it is, maybe slightly darker than it is right now. But I actually need to let it dry. These are just absolutely full of uh, liquid uh, right now. I don't think they would absorb any stain. This uh, Rudbeckia has just gone completely wild. Uh, I'm six feet tall. Um, it is up on the curb, so it's about six, so it's at least five feet tall. Uh, it's kind of, it's kind of wild. This one was done from seed uh, last year. Uh, there's a uh, um, Asclepias tuberosa here or butterfly weed. Uh, I'm gonna pull this up and stake this up some because it's kind of eating that right now. There's some uh, agastache that's been planted out here. Uh, there's uh, zinnias. Uh, this is cosmos right here. Cosmos kind of looks like dill. Sometimes when people see this without the flowers on it in the videos, they'll say, is that dill? But it's, it's actually cosmos. These are starting to bloom. These were done, a lot of this stuff was done from seed. Uh, there are other uh, cone flowers. This is a yellow cone flower. Uh, in that spot, there's a salvia here, beautiful blue salvia. Uh, here's a bee working this uh, agastache. I absolutely love this agastache. Other thing about this agastache is the uh, rabbits don't mess with it. The uh, deer don't mess with it, but that bee is working hard out here this morning. And uh, there's some vinca that's been planted right there. It doesn't look like much now. Uh, it's about to be mulched in the next week or so. This, uh, all of these perennials will, should fill this in pretty quickly. One thing that's missing from this space are evergreens. And so come fall, this stuff's gonna die to the ground and I'm either gonna have to put annuals in here or unless I do something else in the meantime. And I've got some dwarf conifers that are actually gonna go into this space and a couple of dwarf leafy evergreens so that in the winter time, there'll be some structure out here. 
Uh, one thing on the other side of the fence, there is a uh, hydrangea paniculata uh, uh, just on the other side that's uh, just starting to bloom. This one's called Moon Dance. This is another one of Buddy Lee's introductions, just like White Wedding. It's about to start flowering. Eventually, it's gonna come up over this fence. And so from the roadside uh, where the camera is right now, in the future, you know, this thing will be blooming uh, up in this area. It's just new, so it's, uh, it's not at this time. And a little further, on the, jumping over to the other side of the fence, again, it's just a lot of small perennials. There's a Mexican sage here. There's uh, lots of salvias. The vinca is blooming. Uh, there's more agastache uh, out here. Uh, and then a couple repeats up here of the cosmos. And these are kind of a wine color uh, cosmos and zinnias uh, that are blended out here. Here's some Leatris. And I did a uh, uh, that, um, Dahlia Jumpstart video I did. I uh, started these Leatris in containers early and they are about to flower. Uh, right now. So again, you can see out here that although in a month this is going to be beautiful and it's going to be super flowery and showy and really be a showstopper, uh, it is missing some sort of winter appeal. So uh, some, some, something's got to be added through here. And again, I've got those pieces uh, and you'll see that in videos uh, as I add uh, outside, outside the fence. But this is a first look uh, outside the fence uh, so far uh, on this project. The uh, Going inside, these uh, agapanthus were added. Well, this is a tall, obviously a tall growing variety so that they can be seen over the fence and on the inside of the fence. As you can see, the zoysia lawn is just absolutely perfect. Uh, this bed that the agapanthus are in is gonna get a little bit wider and that line has been created. I did that with the uh, weed eater. I just made that line uh, in the turf. That's where the new turf line is gonna be. So that bed, um, those agapanthus will have a little bit more space. Uh, and then moving up here, this uh, Empress of China dogwood just never disappoints. It's still, it's still flowering here. I don't know when I first showed the flowers on it, maybe five or six weeks ago. Um, they're starting to fall apart a little bit, uh, but, but these, um, the fruit will now uh, turn red. And so it continues uh, with additional interest uh, this space back here continues to be, you know, one of my favorite spaces in the entire uh, landscape uh, since I showed it last. I, well, I've showed that container being planted, but last time I went through this corner and kind of showed everything, uh, that uh, container was not there. Uh, I think it looks good uh, with the bird bath. And I've laid the stones uh, in this path that will make up this path. I have not dug them in uh, yet. There's a path coming through here. So my a uh, postman can go to the neighbor's house because we have a walking postal route. And then it splits right here and it will head to the backyard. There's a stack of stone back there uh, for that. Uh, this Shasta viburnum has just gone wild this year. I'll probably have to do a little bit of pruning on it uh, to control the, uh, the width uh, just a little bit. On this two tenths of an acre lot with as many varieties as I'm trying to grow, uh, I really can't have anything trying to eat up, you know, 10 or 12 feet of width uh, in the landscape. So you can see how, why I really like that corner. Uh, it's got good screening for the street, uh, anybody coming down uh, this way. Uh, heading around to this side, this is an area I've probably kind of least satisfied with uh, in the landscape uh, at, this, at this moment. Uh, I like, you know, the Sestrum just went in a week or so ago and it's, it's beautiful. It's gonna be a great addition to that space. Uh, the uh, uh, paper bush uh, bloomed like crazy and has grown like mad uh, since it was uh, since it was put in during the uh, winter time. Uh, the burning love Lakothui uh, down in front of it uh, with the purple new growth on it looks great. So I'm not disliking the pieces that are here. I just think it looks uh, for whatever reason uh, it looks less. Uh, less organized uh, than some of the other areas uh, in the landscape. Sometimes all you need to do is pop something out of the ground and switch it out with something else and, and that's all you need to do uh, and it'll look great. There are uh, lots of salvias in here, annuals planted around the front of these beds uh, that uh, are not quite full on color yet, but they will be, it won't be long uh, before that happens. Uh, got containers throughout this landscape 
uh, that all um, are a great pop of color. I have irrigation uh, run up in most of them, and uh, but I still have to hook it to my main uh, irrigation line. That has not been, I'm not quite finished with my uh, irrigation project. Uh, the uh, agapanthus that are in this area are loaded with buds. They're gonna be blooming for a long time. The uh, African basil is still jumping like crazy. It's amazing one of these tiny little plants uh, can grow you know, this much uh, this quickly and the uh, bees are just all over them in the afternoons. Once this comes into the sun, the bees are all over, all over those. There are other salvias. Uh, the salvia is like it really hot. And so typically with the salvias and the agastache, it's about July before they really start putting on a big show. This sunflower decided it wanted to be here. Uh, it was not planted here. And uh, it's kind of interesting that the seed head that's forming is pointing this way in the morning toward where the sun's coming up. And then in the afternoon, it's pointed back toward the house where the sun is setting. It's just kind of fun to watch every day. Uh, this annual bed uh, right here with the rocks uh, really is gonna look fantastic. And these just jumped a ton while I was gone. These rocks were put in place because the water hose is back toward the house and it will just slide uh, right under these uh, so that other th things can be watered with the water hose without decapitating the annuals uh, that are in this bed. I showed some of these uh, container plants uh, in a video uh, last week, but these uh, zinnias and the uh, ornamental peppers that are in this container are really starting to uh, jump. There's a quick look uh, at this uh, front garden space, how much it's uh, jumped in the uh, last uh, couple of weeks since I've uh, shown any of it. I'm gonna go in the backyard and show some spaces that uh, I didn't show in a couple videos from uh, last week. Uh, in the next couple days, uh, the next week I'm going to be uh, edging, and so there'll be a video on edging. Uh, I will be uh, mulching, and uh, I think by the time the fresh mulch is down, a couple more weeks of growth happen on these annuals and perennials, and uh, everything has crispy edges. This place is just gonna be amazing. And so I hope you are subscribed to the channel and uh, hit that little bell notification so you're alerted when I upload a video. Thanks for watching.